So let's sit tall. If you have blocks or a meditation cushion, something where you can elevate your hips. So lift yourself up. Let your knees be lower than your hips. So pulling into the little belly, sit nice and tall. Feel each vertebrae stack upon the other. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let your shoulders go up. On your exhale, let your shoulders go back. And then you can just rest with your hands down your knees and your lap, either palms up if you want to stay open or turn them down if you need to be a little bit more protected this morning. Okay, take another full breath in and a full breath out. And as you settle yourself into place, you can gaze down the tip of your nose, or you can close your eyes altogether. But start to truly focus on the breath, the quality of it. Is it shallow and light? Or can you take a full deep breath in and really get down into the lower lobes of your lungs? Maybe when you fill up, there's a lightness that comes into it and you actually feel your body extend up. And then when you exhale, you can just allow the body to ground. Let there be a heaviness to it. There's no right or wrong. You may be experiencing something completely different. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. anchoring into your breath. Maybe you just notice how peaceful and serene it is to just be focused here, right in this moment, this present moment. Or maybe you notice that it's bringing a little discomfort because you don't like it when it's still and quiet or it's uncomfortable. Whatever you choose to feel here, it's not right or wrong. Breathe through it, anchored into your inhales and your exhales. And bringing that attention onto yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Creating a little container just for you right here with your breathing. Being kind to yourself, creating some self-compassion and some self-love. So we'll start a loving kindness. It'll be short and sweet. Taking a full breath in and a slow breath out. And you can just repeat these sentences to yourself or say them out loud. Nobody can hear you. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be filled with compassion and kindness. May I be loved. And then to keep things balanced, we'll just turn that out. And again, repeating to yourself or saying it out loud. Think of someone else, something else, some group, some person. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be compassionate and kind. And may you be loved. 
Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then with your next breath in, sweep the arms up, stretch through the back, take the hands high, exhale, bring them right back to your heart space. Breathing in, lift the arms up, exhale, bring the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down toward the earth, lift through the heart, let the head go back, taking a full breath in and a full breath out. Release the fingers, inhaling, lift up. Exhale your hands to your heart space. Taking another breath in, reach up. Exhaling the arms down, just opening up through the shoulders, interlace the hands the other way, maybe the left thumb's on top of the right. Draw the knuckles down, lift up through the heart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, stretch the hands up. We're going to twist toward the left, take the right hand outside the left knee, draw the left shoulder back, take another full breath in, and a full breath out. Inhale, come back up to center, hands go high, exhale, let's twist the other direction. Left hand outside the right knee, you could just place the right hand on the small of your back, continuing to draw that right shoulder back. Take a full breath in. Bring the hands up, exhale, bring them right back to your heart. Just a little bit of movement and breath to get used to that in sync movement and motion. And then let's bring the soles of the feet together. If you're seated on something, take it out from underneath your bottom, bring the soles of your feet together. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then with your next breath, you can start to hinge forward, laying out right over your feet. Feeling that stretch of the inner thighs. Big breath in, big breath out. And then come back up to sit. Take your legs out long in front of you. Cross the right foot over the left leg. Leg is extended, foot is flexed. Sit nice and tall. Take your left arm, hug that right knee in, sweep the right hand high toward the sky, and then exhale, open up. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. And then inhale, come back to center. Hands come down, take the right foot out, cross the left foot over the top. Keep your right foot flexed, a little bit of softness behind your right knee. Take the right arm, hug that left knee in nice and tight. Sweep the left hand high. Big breath in, exhale, hand goes down on the ground behind you, just like a kickstand to help keep you nice and tall. You draw that left shoulder back, looking over the left shoulder. Keep the right foot flexed. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then come back to center, lift the hands up nice and high. Hands come back to heart space. Take the legs out long, give them a little bit of shake, and then let's turn right around and come on into tabletop. So hands are planted right underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Take a nice deep breath in, release the belly. Tip the tail, open up across the heart, and then tuck the tail. Round through the spine, Push down through the hands, let the head release between the biceps. And we're just gonna move with that breath several times. So take the opportunity to commit to a very deep breath in and a long, slow exhale out and move the entire spine back and forth through your cows and cats with each breath. Soften your face, maybe bring a little kindness and compassion into yourself because let's face it, every once in a while we get a little frustrated and we either want to move things along faster than they need to go or we're just annoyed that we're not doing what we think we should be doing. So take the shoulds out. It's not about that. Keep breathing as you move through. Cows and cats, full breath in, full breath out. Pause in your tabletop. Tuck your toes behind you. Take your hands to the top of the mat. 
Take a full breath in, engaging your core. Start to press your hips up toward the ceiling. Lift up into your first downward facing dog of the morning. And here again, coupled with the breath, pedal out your feet, maybe bend both knees, bringing your shins parallel to the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, and then extend the legs, straighten them out, pressing the thighs to the back of the room. Your head is right between your biceps. You can look right to left or shake your head yes to no. Just paying attention to how all this feels. We're creating space. Take a full breath in as you lift the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot forward, plant it by your right thumb. Pause, breathe in and up, lifting high for crescent. Full inhale again, exhale the hands down. Take that foot back to meet the left, hips go high. Again, remember we're just breathing and moving. Breathing and moving. Finding a rhythm. Being nice while we do it. Nice to ourselves. Take a full breath in, lift the left leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward. Find your balance. Take a full breath in as you rise strong into crescent on the left. Just stretching, reaching, exhaling the hands right back down. Take the left foot back to meet the right, shift the hips up, downward facing dog. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale the right leg straight out again. Bring the foot up right by the left th uh, the right thumb. Rise strong out of breath for crescent. And now this time let's pause here. And if you notice your shoulders are talking to you, bring your hands right to your heart space. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Pull in through the low belly, draw the shoulders back. One more breath in, one more breath out. And then we're gonna hinge forward, leaning out right over the right thigh. Take the left hand down to the ground. Twist open, taking that right hand nice and high. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Do you see the pattern? Inhale, exhale, move with breath, pause with breath. Take one more breath in, reaching those fingers just a little bit higher. Exhale the right hand down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Pause in your plank, shift your hips up, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and you're down dog and a full breath out. Inhale the left leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Pause to find your balance and then inhale, rise high for crescent on the other side. Pause and breathe. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Again, bringing your hands to your heart space. Pause, take a full breath in and a full breath out. With your next breath in, lean out over that left thigh. Get nice and long from the heel of the right foot through the hips right out the crown of the head. And then with your next breath, right hand goes down, sweep the left hand high, twisting open. And if you feel like your hips are shifting, breathe back into that right thigh, push it back. The hips are squared. You're twisting from the ribs and the waist. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. With your next breath, bring the left hand down, step the left foot back to meet the right, pause in your plank, shift your hips up, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Pause and breathe. Find the quiet, find the rest, even in a pose that's moving. Inhale up to your toes. On your exhale, walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Pause in your half and your forward fold. Take a full inhale as you draw the crown of your head and your heart forward for a halfway lift. Now pause here, either resting your fingers against your shins or if you have a block handy, put your hands right down on the ground. Feel your heart move forward and the crown of your head go forward. You've got a nice 90 degree angle at your hip. Breathe deep in your halfway lift. One more breath in and then exhale, release. Just let it go, forward fold. Inhale, rise strong to stand. Big breath in and up, maybe look up. Exhale your hands to your heart space and pause. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then inhaling, shift the arms back up again. Exhale, forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift again, pausing. Feel the shoulders draw onto your back. So pretend there's a tennis ball in between your shoulder blades and you're just trying to squeeze it and hold it in place. Opening up across your heart. Exhale, release, forward fold. Big breath in, rise up strong to stand again. And this time sit your hips back for chair. So your weight's in your heels, you're taking your sit bones back just like you're gonna place your bottom on the edge of a chair or a couch. 
Pull in through the low belly, tucking your tailbone down. And then stay open across your heart by drawing those shoulders back. And if your arms or shoulders are tired again or they're just achy, bring your hands to your heart space. You're still getting all that work from your lower body. Chair is a very strong pose. And holding the strong poses just builds some strength, builds some endurance. It's really good for you, right? Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more breath in your chair and then exhale, straighten the legs forward, fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your hands down, walk your feet back out to plank and pause. Now this time in your plank, keep your heels high above your toes. Find a lift through the thighs, the low belly, the hips. You want your hips and your shoulders on the same plane. And we're gonna lower all the way down. Now, if that's too much and you wanna take your knees down first, do it. You're still getting that upper body work, the strength, the endurance. Keep your elbows tucked in close and then lower all the way down to the mat. With a full inhale, start to pull up through your upper back muscles for Cobra. And then exhale, let that go down. We're gonna do three more of these. You can keep your hands right by your ribs, right by your sides, or you can spider your hands right off the mat for striking Cobra. You really wanna work at using your upper back muscles to lift you. The head just follows. Take a full breath in for a striking Cobra or a regular Cobra, and then exhale and release that. So again, you're using your breath, matching it to the movement, inhaling for another Cobra, exhaling as you release. Press down to the tops of your feet. Your hips are anchored. We'll do one more inhaling, lifting for cobra or striking cobra. Exhaling, release. If your hands were out by the edges of your mat, bring them back in so your elbows are close to your side bodies. Take a full breath in, push back through your knees or full plank, pause, and then shift your hips back up, downward facing dog. That's it, we're just focused on breathing in, creating some strength and energy by coupling the movement with our breath and staying focused right here in this moment, getting ready to hopefully find some more energy and more strength just to stretch out and pay attention to what's happening in our bodies. And then we get to rest and restore and go into some wonderful restorative poses, which I get to do with you because that way, if you're just logging in and you're seeing this and wondering why there's no talking or movement, you know, we're going to do one more sauna. Okay. So, from down dog, take a full breath in, lift up to your toes. Feel like everything is continuing to hug into the center line. On your exhale, bring your feet up right between your hands. Set your feet, grounding down through all four corners of your feet. Take a full inhale for that halfway lift. Pull the heart and the crown of the head forward. Nice slow exhale as you release, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Take a full breath in as you rise to stand. Exhale, forward fold, hands come right down through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise again to stand, and then this time sit your hips back for chair and your exhale. Pause and breathe in your chair, refining the pose, making sure that you're strong through your legs and your feet. Hands can come to your heart whenever you need them to. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. This time on a breath, reach up nice and high. Exhale, forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your hands down. Walk your feet back out to plank. Decide if you want your knees up or down. And then we're going to lower all the way to the mat. Breathe in for a cobra. Exhale as you release. Tuck your toes, push back through your knees, or lift your hips, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in as you lift up to your toes. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. If you're still on your toes, gently lower your heels. Walk your feet apart, bend your knees, sit your hips back from Malasana. Take a full breath in and a full breath out and just allow the hips to stretch out here for a breath or two. One more breath in, one more breath out. Take your hands apart, put the left hand down, shoot the right hand up, twisting open. That left elbow is pressing against the right or the left knee. One more breath in, exhale, bring that hand down. Lift through the left. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. That hand comes down. Sit your hips down, take your legs out right in front of you. Easy, right? 
15 minutes of stretching and moving, breathing deeply into our body. The movements are not that difficult. They're not that involved, but it's enough to practice breathing, staying in the moment, but also getting some space and length and clarity with what's going on with your body. We're going to move into the story of now. Yay! The best part of all. So hopefully you have all your props again, bolsters, blankets, whatever you need. I'm going to do these poses with you. So like I said, if you happen to log in or you get lost and wonder what's going on, you'll see what's happening. It's going to be quiet with not a whole lot of movement. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay. So the first pose we're going to do is supported Supta Baddha Konasana. You're going to take two blocks or some canned goods or some really firm pillows, and we're gonna angle the bolster. So if you have a wall, you can also angle um, a big, great big pillow or a couch cushion as well. So this is going right here like this. We're gonna take a head pillow that I've already made, which was basically, I'll show you, a blanket that is shaped like a rectangle, Tadasana, and I'm going to fold it in half, and then I'm going to take each corner and tuck it under to make a little triangle, which is a little nest for your head. And then that goes right on the pillow, so I have some place to rest my noggin. And then I need two more blocks to place under my knees, and if I don't have blocks, I would use bath towels all rolled up. Sit your hips as far back as you can to the bolster. So you're actually gonna lean forward and nestle your hips right back in so there's no space and no place for your low back to lag. I'm gonna take a bolster or a block and a blanket. And I'm going to put that right on top. So it's cushioned. And then my knees have somewhere to rest. So bring the soles of your feet together. Tuck in your blocked or blanketed support for under your knees. No internal pulling, just support. And then you can lay back. Oh, I forgot my eye pillow. Hold on, I gotta find my eye pillow. This will work. Okay, so nestled in nice and tight, soles of the feet together, supported, eye covering, very important. And then my hands can just be right on my thighs. And we're going to take a full breath in and a full breath out, and we're going to stay in this posture for a good 10 minutes. All right, I've set my alarm, so... I'm ready for you. Take a full breath in and a full breath out.
start to deepen your breath. Bring a little movement into your fingers and your toes. And then gently take your hands to the outsides of your knees and close them up like a book. And allow your body to roll to the right side. Linger there for just a moment. And then using your hands, you can push yourself up to a seat. I don't know about you, but that was pretty relaxing. <laughs> Sometimes you really don't know how much you need these moments of silence and stillness, moments of warmth and darkness to just regroup, to reconnect within yourself. It creates an internal strength, I think, an internal fortitude. It just makes me feel like I'm ready to face whatever's coming next. Well, the next pose is legs up the wall. Again, another one of my favorites. We'll be in this anywhere from eight to 10 minutes as well. As simple as possible, you're gonna elevate your hips on a bolster and just rest your legs up against the wall, but I want you to put a blanket over the tops of your feet first because I would like there to be some weight as well as some warmth. So take your head pillow that you had and put that behind you. And then get as close as you possibly can to your bolster sitting on top. So you're gonna sit on, on the edge. Get your blanket over your feet so you're ready. And then you're going to turn your legs around and up the wall. And you might have to do some wiggling so you get a little bit closer. I got my palooza pants on so they fall down. Find your head pillow, pull that in underneath you. Readjust your blanket on your feet as you need to. See, that helps cover up my legs too. Find your eye pillow again. Where did it go? Oh. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Hands, I want you to open up so that they're at a 90 degree angle, but the hands angle in closer toward your head. Big breath in, big breath out.
Slowly start to deepen your breath. Bring a little movement back into your hands as you drop your arms down, maybe resting your hands on your belly. Start to bend your knees and bring them right into your chest. And then roll to your right as I break my glasses. Coming right over onto your side and pausing. Wow, I really did. So, we'll see what I can see here. Not very much. Pat, you're fine. Thanks for joining us. It's time for Shavasana anyway, which is always the best part. So, we're going to do Stonehenge, which you can definitely do. Anybody can do Stonehenge. It's a very relaxing pose where you get to elevate your legs just a little bit. So we're going to take our bolster. And we're going to prop that up on top of two blocks. If you don't have the props, you could just move right over to the edge of your couch because you're going to bend your knees right over the top of the couch or a chair. Again, you'll need a head pillow, an eye covering, and maybe even a blanket so you can cover up your whole body and be nice and warm. Bend your legs right over your bolster or the edge of the couch. Position your head so it's nestled in the blanket, your cradle. Cover up your eyes. Open up your hands away from your side bodies. Take a great big breath in. And a very slow, steady breath out. Let this 15 minutes of restorative bliss be soothing and healing and grounding from the inside out. I'll ring the bells when it's time to come out. Shavasana.
as you deepen your breath, please stay in your basic relaxation pose. Bring a little movement to your hands or maybe take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And just lay here for a moment. When we are abiding in ease and stillness, we will feel a deep unwinding of strain and a sense of expansion. This lovely state is something that we should look for every single day, making it a habit to find an opportunity to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes of doing nothing. You nourish yourself by finding these moments of relaxation. And this type of rest is definitely different than sleep. It's a sensation of where you get to turn your attention to your breath, feel it move through you. And when you notice how your thoughts are becoming more rapid and active, it's just part of the process. Learn to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Notice the sensations that create change in your body. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. And again, staying right where you are because you can stay here for as long as you'd like when I'm done talking. I just want to remind you that the light and truth in me sees in each of you and this restorative part of the, po of the practice is vital to who you are. I do believe that. So, the light and truth in me sees that in each of you. And together we say, Namaste.